When trying to find the probability of more than one event occurring, simply find the probability of each event occurring and then multiply the probabilities together. To illustrate this concept, we are going to use the spinner shown on this video. With the spinner shown, we are trying to land on a winning section on two consecutive spins. The first thing we need to do is to identify what fraction of the entire spinner is comprised of a winning section. Out of the 12 equal parts, two of them are winning sections. After identifying what fraction of the entire spinner represents the desired outcome, in this case a winning section, see if you can reduce that fraction, and in this case we can. Two twelfths can be reduced to one sixth. This means that out of every six spins, we can expect to land on a winning section one time. To find the probability of landing on a winning section two times in a row, we take the fraction one sixth of the first spin and the probability of landing on a winning section on the second spin, which is also one out of every six spins, and multiply those probabilities together to get a product of one out of every 36 spins. To find the probability of any type of problem involving compound events, find the probability of each individual event and then multiply those probabilities together. In this case, we add two events and each event was represented by a single spin. In this case, the first spin and then the second spin.